to game number two of the 2022 Mini Stiff Holiday Cup. I'm your host, Peter, and I'm joined by Bob. Bob, how are you feeling about game number two? Well, Peter, super jacked up to be here tonight for game number two. I want to see how Ole answers after that absolute trash play where Jacob completely dominated him in game number one. Yeah, an absolute meltdown by Ole in game number one. He's a complete crybaby. But let's check in. Let's hear it from the boys. Game two here. Uh, had a great warm warm-ups. Um, had a big meeting last night with the video review coach. Uh, he was telling me I was playing too much offense, so obviously I fired him. Uh, the fans want to see an electric show, a lot of toe drags, a lot of back toeies, a lot of wrist shots, a lot of mishies. A lot of those plays, they don't want to see defense because obviously defense doesn't win games. Uh, offense wins championships, but uh, so I fired his ass. And then now I'm, uh, but I'm gonna take a little bit of his advice. I'm gonna focus on a little bit of defense today. So I apologize to my fans if you don't see any toe drags, but a little bit of defense today. See how that changes here in, in uh, game two. Well, Bob, you heard it here first. Oli Postonen is focusing on defense for the first time in his whole career. Let's go hear from Jacob. Yeah, I said it was a huge win. Uh, Come up, I think it was 9 2. Uh, super Loli uh, missed, uh, missed a goal. Basically, ripped one top corner, but it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't have been 9 3. And obviously, I just played really good. My team really came together. Uh, Tendy was on fire, probably the best performance my Tendy's ever had. Defense was playing spot on. You know, there's a lot of good battles in the corner. Sports, they're getting pucks in deep in the net. Uh, and that's all you, all you can ask for, really. Tonight, I'm just looking to go out and. Uh, Get after it, uh, get another W and take it back home and uh, close it out with my fans in attendance. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Thank you. Well, Bob, Jacob's not too worried about coming in tonight's game. Bob, do you think that is going to affect his play here tonight? Well, Peter, Jacob seems to be a little cocky tonight, but I don't blame him. Ole is possibly the worst mini stick player on earth, but we'll see what happens here tonight in game number two. Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up. It's go time. Boys, before we jump into game number two, uh, we obviously want to let you know we got the mini twigs. There's only um, a few left squad. There's only two boxes, and I believe there's like 12 and above. Something like that. So, like, if my math is correct, that's like Less five. than 50. Less than 50 sticks left. So, these are collectors, boys. So, that's what I'm using in this game. Um, Jacob's too afraid to use his because he doesn't want to scratch it, but... I know, I have one with uh, my other twigs, oh, so I right. keep it rolling. So those are available now, boys. Well, they've been available for a while, but these are limited yeah, edition. Yeah. Once they're gone, they're gone. So, uh, WW on the bench dot life. They're solid. Pick them up. Boys. Plus, we have some new stuff. Brand new Check stuff that just out. came in yesterday, boys. Jacob, show them. A brand new coolering book. Oli and Jacob coolering book. They spelled coloring wrong, though. They spelled it American. There's even a maze in there. Let's see what else we got. Some greasy ones. Look at these. Top corns, you can color top corns, a flagpole celly. So it's really not for the older guys, it's for the younger guys. If you got a younger brother or sister, get them this to color. And we're gonna repost on our Instagram whoever does the best coloring. Tag us, there. tag us in the photos, DM it to us. The greasiest ones are gonna get reposted. And if it's a truly filthy one, you might even win something, squad. Let's go, boys. So, www.onthebench.life. Pick up your coloring book. Coloring book. And your mini twigs, boys. Game two. Let's go. Baby offense. Let's go. Scores. Offense. Oh, 
bench. Ah, uh, bench. <laughs> nice shot, Ryder. <laughs> Quick whiskey, eh? Yeah. Do this to me again, Dean. so bad at this. Oh yeah, you are. My shots are not going in.
Hurry up. Four Let's three. go. So much for Ole's defense, he could not capitalize as frustrations start to boil over. And another missed call. But Ole will battle back and get two goals late to bring it 4-3 heading into the second. Let's go here from the boys. Yeah, right, yeah coming in uh, period two, um, I'm coming in with a little bit of momentum. I, uh, I, had, a great, I had a great first period. I was, uh, I was getting pucks deep. Um, I was playing a lot of defense. I'm a bigger goalie. I'm about 300 pounds. So I've been doing a lot of that. I've been standing in front of my net. I've been a lot of bank shots. Uh, different style of game today. And I, I, I hope it pays off coming into period two. I'm down by one goal. But I have three now. That's more than I scored all last uh, series. So, so I'm looking forward to this next, uh, this next period here. Uh, up 4-3, you know, I kind of took a little bit off. My hair got in my eyes a little bit. I think I got tight in my stun strap. So... It's the only reason why he got three. Uh, like, yeah, like I heard him saying, that's more than he scored you all last game. So it's probably going to be all that he gets this series. Um, you know, I'm going to take it in the second. Uh, you know, just try and get pucks deep in the net and uh, just keep rolling from there. You know, it's a battle now. Uh, and I'm just going to roll through it. It's all about adversity. And obviously, you know, I got it. I can just carry the team on my shoulders. And that's what I'm about to do. Thanks, Peter. Well, not much to say there. Let's jump in to period number two.
про них. for safety, bud. I'm not willing to trade off my star player versus your grinder. That's a penalty if I've ever done. Snap my twig in half. You have to use it. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You got your shot and I covered it. Let me figure the game out. Here it is. away, but Ole Poston will be the only one to tuck it in, Bob. That's right, Peter. Things got a little heated at the end of the period here. Knuckles were thrown and faces were punched into the ground. We're going to jump into period number three to see who wins it. Alright guys, period three. Don't. This defense is paying off. Mm -hmm. You can't just sit in Yes, front. I can. That's defense, Bob. How do you always do it? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I'm literally grinding in the corn. You ain't grinding nothing. Whoa! Close! Easy on the premature celly. All right, you don't shoot it up there. There ain't no holes in Texas. Look at this. There's nothing. Nice shot. Nice hit. Nice bang. I got that one fig figured out, buddy. What is he? What is he? Is he good? Yeah, it was. Ah! Uh, shot, shot, stupid. You're probably the dumbest hockey player I've ever met. No, have you ever met a Vander Kane? Oh, yeah, he's pretty dumb. There's no holes. You can't. You simply can't. Oh, I almost had that horn. <laughs> Do that again, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, 
that chair. Oh, what a save! Oh my goodness! Pretty good. What a save! Nasty's mid in the west. No wishies. I'm not having it today. No wishies today. Can I stand? Standing yeah. violation. Oh no. Hey! So I should be getting some penalty. No, it's not. Could be over. It's a penalty. Okay. Oh, I'm gas. You need offense. That's a penalty. No, it's not. Yes, off my buck. Nope. Oh, dirty. Oh, he's in gas. No goal, my friend. That's right, Peter, but only posting in will strike quick as he ties it up late. 5-5, five, five, heading into overtime, Peter. And only makes no mistake on an absolute top coordinate to win game number two. Let's go hear from Ole Postinen. Oh man, what a period. Um, you know, defense obviously, I guess I gotta rehire my video coach. He was kind of right. I just had to play defense. Uh, you know, I just I I I got the patience of a tiger. 
so I just waited him out. Uh, took it into overtime there and just an absolutely beauty snipe. You know, I've been sniping my whole life. Uh, that's why I fired the video coach because he told me not to snipe, but obviously he's an idiot. I clearly snipe corns one in overtime. Uh, that game's going to go down in the books. It's one of the greatest overtime shots of all time. Uh, super excited. Actually, no, I'm not excited to go to his barn. I, I, I don't know too much about uh, um, the banks there and uh, what, what I'm going to do there. I think his is an Olympic size mini stick rink, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. I'll have to play a little bit different there, but I'm excited to get into game three and, uh, you know, just uh, sweep from here. Yeah, obviously that was a tough OT loss. Um, I'm not too worried about it though. You know, it was a close game. Uh, I don't think, I mean, I've already scored nine goals once. I'm going back to my home barn. So literally wear a Paraki all the time. Uh, Oli knows nothing about it. Uh, I don't even think he'd remember he's an idiot. He just slipped on the ice at the end of the game there. I don't know what happened, but obviously, yeah, and it's gonna be coming out hard. Um, going into it, I just gotta shoot a little bit more. Uh, make sure I capitalize on the opportunities. There's a few missed uh, ops there. I was looking like a little like Brock Besser for 13 games, but that's all right. Kid's back on track now. So obviously I'll get back on track and uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling with it. It's gonna be a long series. We all knew that. So I'm looking forward to the end of it and uh, hoist another cup. Thank you. Well, that's it for game number two, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in and we will see all of you game number three in Jacob's Barn.